welcome back to the pit. It's your main host, Crow Solo, over here with your fan favorite co-host, Lil Bear. What is up? Lil Bear, tell us where you were and what's up, man. Okay, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little story of what happened this week. So, uh, I went looking out for uh, my man, uh, Uncle Melvin, as you all know. Melly. And uh, I heard on the news that he was on the run from the police, and it turned out that, uh, well, here's some bad news here. Uncle Melvin, he died. No! R.I.P., bro. R.I.P. in pieces, bro. So, <laughs> so, anyways, I went go looking for his grave because he always told me that he had something up there for me. Um, and I could only imagine that means inheritance. So I yeah. went to his grave to find what was up there. And uh, when I got to the pit, what? there was no body. What? Someone stole Uncle Melvin's body. Somebody robbed the pit? Somebody robbed the uh. damn pit. Oh, man. Okay, now this means war. Well... Maybe Uncle Melvin's not dead then. What if he rose like, you know, Melvin equal second Jesus? <laughs> Mel Melvin. No. Melvin Christ. <laughs> I mean, his charisma was 99. He's digivolved. <laughs> Mega Melvin. <laughs> no, he's like part refrigerator. <laughs> but all right, boys and girls. And I, I, as much as I want to talk about, you know, Pepe... There is a more prominent topic at hand. Bum, bum, bum. The, the, the supreme new god added to the American pantheon. Mm -hmm. Bernie. <laughs> I'm once again asking you to make me into a meme. <laughs> Bernie Mittens, bro. <laughs> yes. That should have been his real name. Bernie Mittens. Dog. How do we know that's not his real name? Whoa. Like, there's a new show coming up with Bernie as the main protagonist. I heard he's in the new episode of Attack on Titan, right? Yeah, dude. He's, like, one of the main... Like, he's he's the... He, he is the founding he titan. He is the founding titan. <laughs> he was there when it all started. He'll be there when it's all over. I am actually surprised how fast Bernie as a meme spread. And it's, like, not... It, it's unrelenting, bro. Like, you cannot open your news feed without seeing at least two or three of the Bernie memes, dog. Exactly. And you know where that picture comes from, right? Well, yeah, he was cold and he was just at the conference, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, he was at the uh, the crowning of King Bibbon. <laughs> King Bibbon? <laughs> Who's King Bibbon? Enlighten the audience. That's that's how you spell it, right? You know, he's he's the... he's. He's the new king of uh, America, right? <laughs> king Bibbin. Bibbin the old. <laughs> He's the Bibbin who is not on Crack and Jack, if you, if you understand what we're saying. Bibbin the... Uh, Bibbin... Bibbin... <laughs> Bibbin the senile. <laughs> Bibbin the last hobbit. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know about you guys, but to me personally, I am actually glad that Bernie is once again asked to become a meme. Because this time, the anime adaptations of it are amazing, man. Oh, like, man. if you've seen them, like, with the Attack on Titan one, and... Uh, oh, the UFC one where he oh. does an arm bar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. it's gorgeous. Yeah, that's amazing. I wonder what he... Uh, what was his response to it, That he was only trying to keep warm? Or what? Like uh, He was. He has three little men under his coat that he's trying to suckle <laughs> at, the, at the moment. And, uh, you know, he just didn't want people to see. So he kind of has his arms over his jacket to let the doors feed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, where did he say he bought that, man? I kind of want a pair of those little mittens, dog. Oh, they look pretty fly. I think that might have been Supreme, you know? So, oh, yeah. Yeah, that could be supreme. Maybe maybe Mr. Beast can uh, buy us a few. You know, he's like wealthy and powerful. He could get godly mittens like that, right? Or if you come to our shop, you can get a pair of mittens for just twenty nine ninety five. <laughs> Personally signed by the supreme god of walls himself, Donnie Trump. That's right. Don Donnie Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There is a game, you know, that... Uh, me and Lil Bear like to play now and then. And most of you already played it. It's a um, more extreme version of Would You Rather, right? It's not one of these like, oh, would you rather eat a hot dog or a pickled egg, right? I'm talking about would you rather eat a dick and sit on a cake or eat a cake and sit on a dick? Well, what kind of cake? Peanut butter. 
Like something's gonna have you're gonna have a hard time finishing, bro. So like, is the cake entirely made of peanut butter? Just like peanut butter frosting, peanut butter on the inside. You maybe get just a little bit of like <laughs> cake, you know, to hold it all together. Okay, all right. So if I were to say, would I rather eat a dick and sit on a cake, or sit on a dick and eat a cake? Now here's the thing. Right. Is the dick attached to someone? Absolutely. Pulsing, working. Now what happens while you sit on the dick is a mystery, right? You know, he could be nice to you. Or he could go full blaster Jimmy Nuttron on you. You know what I mean? Gotta blast. <laughs> you know? If I know anything about uncles, no. Uh, no. <laughs> No, that won't happen. But uh, how how long would it take you to... Like, so you're sitting on the peanut butter cake, right? And the schlong is just... Imagine if the schlong is still attached to the person. How do you eat it? Okay, very simple. Open your mouth. Take it in. Bite. But are you Rip still... And tear. Are you still gay, though? Like, I mean, you kind of have a schlong in your mouth. Yeah, but I mean, once it's in your mouth, you can cook it, right? You can spit it back out. And then you can cook it like a like a you know like a good old fashioned German schnitzel, or whatever. <laughs> whatever the f is a schnitzel. Uh, enlighten enlighten the American audience. Is a schnitzel a like type of hot dog sausage? Uh, well, sh schnitzel is more like a type of uh, yeah, like German sausage is mostly meat. It's not like water and uh, <laughs> scum like it is here. <laughs> <laughs> like bratwurst are more of the. You, Sausages that you guys are actually familiar with, and... right? You know, you eject it full of like cheddar and some jalapenos <laughs> right. and stuff. <laughs> Jalapeno infused sausages. Yeah, dude. <laughs> There's nothing better. Put some you know, grilled onions and some green peppers on there. Ooh. Put on a hot dog bun. And... Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, that's the see. You have that picture while you're tearing the schlong off the dude, <laughs> right? <laughs> while you're sitting on the cake. Yeah. Yeah, I got. I mean, and realistically, if if you're pantsless, say you don't have pants on, right? Right. So if you're sit, I mean, if you ever sat on something like peanut butter, ah, uh, no, it can be quite comfortable. If there's enough <laughs> cake there, and it's kind of touching up against your gooch. And for all those you don't know, that's the spot between your butthole and your ball sack. Or if you're a lady, the spot between your butthole and your vajayj. Why do you know that? I don't know. What What have you done? Okay, so it turns out I really like touching my gooch. <laughs> It gets itchy sometimes. That's where you get dingleberries, and you need to clean it up. So you know, whenever I'm you know doing my uh, <clears throat> manly business, you know, a little bit of pressure on the gooch is nice. Remember how we talked about how the the penis kind of goes in your body a little bit? Oh yeah, we have a sponsor for that, the budget penis extension. That's right. That's right. You can right. still order with today. Yep. Call. <laughs> 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 Okay, um, so yeah, you sit on the cake and eat the dick for sure, because that's going to take a lot less time, right? I actually agree with you, because I don't know how focused you can really be on And man, the amount of time it would take you to eat a goddamn peanut butter cake, like, oh lord. Nah, nah, it would have to, you just, whoever is attached to that schlong, bro, it's gone. Yeah, I'm sorry, you know, you're good, congratulations, you know. You're a slave. You're you're no longer a man. You will not have children anymore. <laughs> that's messed up. Would it be better for the penis to be attached to like a young boy or like an old man? Oh, that's terrible. Um, yeah. Well, definitely old man because... Okay, I have a worse one then for you. Okay. Would you rather pepper your grandma or bite a baby schlong off? Like clean off. Like, and you have to live with the fact that you did that to that kid. But, but I'm not Jewish. <laughs> Well, we'll be a little anaconda on your head. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'd probably pepper my grandma. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you just get a shovel and give her a good old, yeah, <laughs> a good old Friday night visit. Just, <laughs> this time, he just came early on Wednesday. Oh yes, I did. <laughs> what about you, audience? If you had to do the cake and the dick one, let us know. If you had to do grandma versus, you know, straight up mutilating baby for the rest of his life. Which one would you do? You know, you can, you're allowed to send the, you know, comment section. You can send it on Facebook. I'll read it. It doesn't matter. Whichever one you like, just let us know. I'm not even going to tell everybody. I'm just going to tell 99% of the people, but not everybody, you know? And you, you know who I'm not going to tell, right? Jimmy. Jimmy and, and Greg. Maybe I'll tell Greg, but I'll, I'll never tell Jimmy. Ever. Jimmy will never know. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah.
Fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this one? All Let's right. do a celebrity edition, right? Mm. What if you had to put your head in between... Let's take... Which is... Um, which is the dude who did Dr. Doolittle again? Uh, uh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, if you had to put your head between Eddie Murphy's ash cheeks and his balls... And you stay there and you just lick it for like 10 minutes straight. And you cannot stop, right? He can do whatever he wants. Or you have to pepper Roseanne and finish. Which one would you do? Mm. I don't know about y'all, but that New York accent just does not do it for me. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> yep, you're doing good, hon. Keep going. Mm. Hotter. Mm. Yeah, uh... It would be pretty tough, and here's the here's the fun thing about it: you gotta finish, right? So yeah. you might be able to even get yourself prepared, you know. Oh, I don't get, know, man. This takes a lot of slapping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just assaulting your rubber chicken, you know. <laughs> it's like you see how I like you you get up in the at night to take a piss, and you're just like you see how I get up for you. You better get up for me. <laughs> <laughs> always ready for the day, you know. <laughs> But so you might be able to get it up, but once it's in, like like if you open your eyes, it's gay over, man. You can't finish. What if she actually wraps her legs around you, bro? It's uh, it's done. How 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 clean is she? I don't know, bro. I haven't seen Roseanne in at least since last Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, know. Like all of that is a mystery. How clean is Murphy? He could just come from a jog. Like we don't know. It's well, as it's, we all know. Eddie Murphy wears leather every day, so he is not the cleanest of gentlemen. <laughs> but he's the most gentlemanly gentleman. Like only a real man will wear leather and not wash himself. That's how he scares away predators. <laughs> you know what we say about deodorant, son? You go around wearing your masculine scent, <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a tough one, personally. Uh, you know, I, I just because I probably couldn't finish i would have to go with eddie just because i don't think i could i could finish with roseanne you know what i mean yeah i, I actually kind of get your point there i mean most likely oh but man that's that is really gay but ooh, i just yeah but here's the thing you don't have to see eddie murphy again he doesn't have to see you again how do you know what if he comes to your house what if he liked it uh-huh what about that i mean how are you gonna repel eddie murphy <laughs> my day is ruined and my disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> but it's still better if Eddie Murphy get hooked on you than Roseanne. I, st I still think that. Well, because Eddie, Eddie at has least more money. With, and Eddie is more of a chill dude, I would assume, man. At least you can go with Eddie to maybe like Publix, you know, pick up a few hot dogs. Yeah, because in the morning... Dude, okay, no, it's absolutely Eddie Murphy. Because in the morning, he's making waffles. Ooh, no, uh, yeah, he's right. Absolutely, Eddie Murphy. Like, no question about it. I, the last thing, what, what did Roseanne make? Like, she just gonna give herself a heart attack from crack or something? I don't know <laughs> why she got kicked off the show. She made she made fun of someone who she called her like a Jew or something like that, and she apparently didn't know that the girl was actually Jewish, <laughs> and so she got in tr in, in Twitter, Twitter trouble, trouble. And we all know how important Twitter, Twitter trouble, trouble is. Yeah. So she got on Twitter trouble, and then uh, she got kicked off the show. Imagine, like, well, again, I don't know if she was friends with the person or not, but that's how I always say, like, if you're not friends with somebody, don't insult them. Hey, it's a golden rule. But if you are friends with somebody and somebody straight up calls you a Jew or, I don't know, man, like an alien or whatever, and you actually get offended to the point that you go to the internet police, mm-hmm. Hey, that's a pitiful thing. I'm, I'm not gonna going lie. to the cyber police, and consequences <laughs> will never be the same again. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> was that 2012? That was, that was something like that. That was the raid on 4chan. That was a raid on 4chan by Tumblr, which was actually orchestrated by someone else from 4chan, so that 4chan would retaliate and just destroy Tumblr. Well. Speaking of Tumblr, bro, why is Tumblr still a thing? Who uses Tumblr anymore, man? You know, I don't know, because all those twelve-year-olds grew up and are now using, you know, Twitter. So I don't know. I mean, like even DeviantArt, man, like DeviantArt and Tumblr were once married together, and I don't know what happened. Like since 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 they removed all the porn from Tumblr, <laughs> there's no reason for people to go on there anymore. <laughs> I guess so. Now you watch your favorite. Uh... <laughs> 
what is it? Game of Thrones episode on Pearl Pearl. Pub. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Wasn't there a time when Pearl Pub were actually flooded with uh, straight up streaming and people were streaming movies on Pearl Pub? Do you remember that time? Yeah, I don't remember streaming on Pearl Pub. That seems like that'd be relatively dangerous. Oh yeah, not streaming. They just uploaded movies. Yeah, exactly. You could just upload whatever, and then they got in trouble, and now you can't upload anything unless you're already verified. Which, well, to me, seems a little bit much. Well, we have the same thing, remember? Like, we got a sweet deal in our pocket, but we cannot get a verification from somebody, right? Let's go, FB, let's go. <laughs> Give us a check mark, and BuzzFeed has us. BuzzFeed right? has us. But yeah, <laughs> anyways, when it comes to, you know, playing these games while you're either working or, you know, to pass the time, is there any other specific game that you guys like to play for instance if you're you know 17 years old you're a dishwasher at the time what do you think about at that time right you're not thinking about man i can't wait to show everybody how good i can wash dishes is it <laughs> see if you wash dishes like a martial arts master you know and you just start like chucking the plates at like the wall Steven Seagal. Yes. isn't that how he said that he impressed his master or something like by washing dishes yes yeah, like the and, and, and my my master he uh he uh, saw while I was washing dishes. He's like, Are "You a karate black belt?" I said, "No, I'm just washing dishes." Oh, you must be, you know, some sort of like martial arts master, right? <laughs> and the question becomes, how the fuck was he washing dishes that impressed some <laughs> some fisherman who just came off the you know the of uh, the Pacific Ocean and he's you know comes to work at a restaurant, you know, fucking real life Mr. Miyagi looking at this kid with sunglasses and a goatee <laughs> at six <laughs> at six foot four going oh, and he just starts. Ch- I, my only suggestion that is must have been like grabbing eight plates at a time and just chucking them at the wall. I think what he was doing, he was doing the you know. What we, what a lot of people seen in Subway, and I've seen that in Subway too. They grab it, chuck it in the water, do a little quick whoop, handle the motion, throw it away. The karate master was like, "Man, you know, I am ninety nine. I can't see anything, but that sounds like he's watching it fast." <laughs> <laughs> There's still poop on it. You. Know? <laughs> <laughs> the the whole fucking plate has like grease and like there's a live squid on there. He just ducks it in. The squid makes a colony in the water. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the day, there's just a Florida swamp in there. A gator is coming out of the sink. Florida man breeds in there. That's right. You see a snorkel slowly rise out of the water, and a guy with no hair and a Hawaiian shirt with no pants on comes out and says. Hey, I think your toilet's clogged and walks away. (laughs) Tries to rob you with an alligator in his hand. Which, by the way, actually happened in Florida. I don't know if a lot of you are aware. There was a gentleman who came into a liquor store with an alligator under his hands. High on something. I forgot what it was. And robbed the store. Mm -hmm. Now, later on, you know, when he got off of his uh, influence, he actually surrendered to the police. But he still got a prison sentence. I just don't know how much. But yeah. Well, here, I've I've got a similar story to go along with that. Um, Another gator story. Surprise, surprise. (laughs) So a guy brings uh, his pet alligator through the drive-thru at a Wendy's. Florida man. And so he (laughs) drives in, and uh, he pays. He gets up to the window. They hand him the wrong food. So instead of handing the food back, he chucks the alligator through the window. (laughs) Here's your change, motherfucker. (laughs) That's It's going to teach that girl or boy, whoever worked. You, what do you what do you think you are? You're like some sixteen year old trying to make some summer money. Uh, hey, uh, you order the large coke, right? Oh no, alligator! Who believed that kid? He was like, <laughs> who believed that kid? Like the kid started yelling, alligator. The man is like, get back to work, Timmy! Stop fucking around! <laughs> God damn it, Timmy! What the fuck are you doing? And that's the last time anybody ever heard Timmy. <laughs> You just like you, you drive by the alligator wearing the Wendy's hat. <laughs> He's taking your order. <laughs> just standing out the window with the Wendy's hat. <laughs> oh, you want chili with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm here to pick up my son. He was supposed to be on this ship. Alligator's like, Nah, this is me. You can come in. <laughs> there is no manager. No one's flipping burgers anymore. It's just, it is only a gator. Gator, like, that. it's not Wendy's anymore. It's gators. <laughs> but yeah, imagine being that poor kid. Like, who would believe you? Like, you're running to your supervisors that there's a gator in the back. 
Who believes you at that point? You know, here's the funny thing. A lot of people probably would. Because it's not the first time that's happened. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, as much as anybody who is from Florida is just like, you know, it's funny to them. It's it, it's an everyday thing, right? Imagine being from, I don't know, maybe you go from Italy, you, move, you go to Florida. You're trying to just have some American fast food. Gator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the manager was probably super happy, too, because they got a new menu item. I, I actually heard people gator do, bites. Woo! People do eat gator. Have you ever had gator before? Yeah, it's it's actually kind of strange because if it's don't cooked, tell me it tastes like chicken. You know, it doesn't taste like chicken. It's actually it's it's you know how lamb kind of it doesn't have a sour taste, but it has a different kind of taste. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gator also has a different kind of taste like that. Again, it's not sour. It's more. It, I don't I don't know how to describe it, but it's pretty good. The meat color is what's weird about it, because when it's cooked, kind of like how when lobsters cook and crabs, they turn from like a dark brown to a light red. Gator meat turns to kind of like a translucent orangey. It's what? it is kind of weird. It, it is just weird, and if you make the gator bites just right, they do tear like really good chicken. They Whoa. don't taste like chicken, but they tear like chicken. Mm, you know okay. where it comes off into little fibers. So it, it, it acts more like it was white meat than red meat, pretty much, right? Yeah, exactly. It acts like white meat. Right, right, right. I understand that. Well, again, I think I'm going to have to try some. So, you know, maybe after this episode, me and you go grab a... Wait, how many alligators are we allowed to take out? Like 4,000 a year? You're allowed to take out as many as you want as long as you don't get caught. <laughs> That's the name of the game, baby. <laughs> Honestly, get ourselves some <laughs> gator bites. Honestly, you know what's a worse problem in florida than gators though uh wild boars oh yeah hogs some bastard just kind of brought a lot of hogs to his farm and somehow left the gate open or something down in the, the everglades that's the swampy part of florida that no one wants to go to and so <laughs> in the everglades and throughout a lot of the woodsy and rural parts of florida and yes there's a lot of you know ding 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 ding, ding, ding places in absolutely. florida absolutely uh <clears throat> Which not a lot of people notice. You know, they think of Florida, they think just a bunch of you know beaches and stuff. Well, I mean, you mostly go to Miami, Tampa, or you know, so you don't really go there. Orlando, yeah, you know. But so, so when you do go there, you notice there's a lot of you know wildlife in there. Mostly it's insects and bugs and things that want to kill you immediately. But boars, at least you can eat, right? So what people do is if you're on one of those swamp boats going through the Everglades River and stuff like that, uh, these these tour guides they have bags full of apples and they'll chuck an apple or two in the water they'll give the apples to the people and a lot of these people they think that they're feeding the the wild pigs that come out into the water to eat the apple right no what they're doing instead is they're bringing the pigs into the water so that the gators can come and eat them <laughs> that's actually a smart idea i mean let nature take its course with a little bit of help from you exactly by, you know luring because hogs are a terrible menace man like you can have two of them, and the next day you have 50 of them. And they're like a stampede. Plus, have you ever seen a gator eat? It's fucking incredible. They do the little twist. Yeah, they, you know, and their mouths open, you know, like a giant accordion, and just slam. You know what I love? How this was, like, a Would You Rather episode, a meme episode, turned into a gator episode. <laughs> <laughs> gator Cross. facts in the pit. <laughs> Cross all the bounty hunter. <laughs> uh, we should, man. Maybe I should, like... Uh, Go kill a few, I don't know, armadillos, make myself like a letter armor from them. And oh, that's an Start upgrade. hunting crocodiles and alligators. You wear the croc, you know, skull as a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> like, you you become a makeshift human Q-bone. <laughs> <laughs> Except, wait, but that's not your mother's skull, though, so that's a little different. Uh... Wait a second. <laughs> if that's their mother's skull, then... Is it how do they keep? Them? Yeah, how do they keep the skull on as they grow up i don't know is it that whenever you know the the thing gets whenever like a a cubone gets old enough uh, and it has a child it automatically dies because its head explodes from the pressure of the skull that's been on it its whole life (laughs) maybe maybe. Uh, (laughs) there's plenty of animals who die after you know they reproduce okay so here's another game that's an offshoot of would you rather fuck mary kill oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. who would you, so you give three people and you say who would you rather kill who would you rather marry and who would you rather f-? so i'm gonna go for this one 
All right, go ahead. Skeletor Pelosi. Oof. Bernie. Oh, okay. <laughs> King Bibbin. Oh, boy. Oh, my lord. Okay. All right. I would have to kill Pelosi, right? Okay. I mean, I just personally don't like her. Don't like nothing. And King Bibbin, I would have to pepper that man, but only if it's in front of his family. Okay. So they see me do it. Okay. Right? And I only maintain eye contact with whoever is watching nonstop. And, of course, you marry the supreme god. Right? The God who gave you the Medicaid fraud. You have to marry that man. The, the patron saint of beggars and refusals of <laughs> refunds. Absolutely. Like, it doesn't matter how everybody else around you lives, but you are good. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and the most important part, now that it's January, you're going to be kept warm. That's right. It has right. the mittens. What about you? Who would you pick? Okay, so I'm going to go similar here. I would prefer... To, uh, I think I'd probably prefer to dethrone King Bibbin. <laughs> All right. And and I'll go ahead, pepper down Pelosi. Ooh. And same thing as you, I'd keep eye contact with, but not with any of her family. No, I'm keeping my eye on both of the ice cream freezers. Because <laughs> in the middle of the pandemic, you've got two freezers full of ice cream. And you're complaining that both of them aren't exactly filled to the top anymore. So I'm going to have to keep my eye on that just to make sure that no one else is stealing it because I am taking that loot for myself. <laughs> Absolutely. You have to get something out of it. That's right. Right. You have to like, get besides an ugly nut, you know? <laughs> Isn't she like 80 years old, man? Uh, probably. I mean, I don't know. I mean, she was here before the Constitution was written down, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and you take Bernie. I mean, I just, at this point, you have to. The status that man has. And as like the supreme father of time, at uh, you know, pretty much in, in the U.S. at the moment, it's just you have to take you know Bernie over Bibbin <laughs> or uh, Skeletosi. You know, there you go. You just have to. Okay, I'm gonna give you one and uh, see what you what you think about this. Okay. I'm gonna give you your since you're an anime protagonist. Okay. I'm gonna give you your favorite anime people. Right. All right. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Neji. Rock Lee and Naruto. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, first of all, kill Naruto. Okay. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Let me think about this a little bit more. Because Naruto can do this yes. jutsu. Oh, yeah, that is correct. Okay, so I might actually end up wanting to bang him. <laughs> I can respect that. Okay. But again, they all couldn't they all just do transformation jutsu anyways? They, I mean, they probably could, but no one else has other than him and uh, Konohamaru. Yeah, yeah, so, that's true. All right, so we'll go. Dude, realistically, if this were in the real world, <laughs> Rock Lee would end up being too much of a threat. Yeah, absolutely, by far. So man. I'd have to just kill him just to get him off the map so that he doesn't take over Elfwine. Yeah, <laughs> 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 You'll take all one in one day. <laughs> yeah. So so we're getting Rock Lee off the map because first of all I respect him to death, but he's uh, he would be too strong. And yeah, Neji, yeah. he's part of the service branch, man. He's not even part of the head branch of the uh, 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 of the Hugo clan. Yeah, so he has a swastika on his forehead. That's man. right. Perfect marriage material, <laughs> right there. Yo. <laughs> so that's my choice. I'm banging Naruto. <laughs> Lady version. Some some people call it Naru Ho. Yeah, Naru Ho. Yeah. So go for that. I'm gonna kill Rock Lee just because he'd be too much of a threat, and then I'll marry Neji. All right, and I'm gonna go a similar route, except you know you gotta go with Naruto on this one. Like you said, there's only that one benefit. You are if you already are you know switching preferences, you know you're kind of gay no matter what. Yeah. At least you know. You, you can lie to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I would actually kill Neji and uh, marry Rock Lee. Now, I think you missed the opportunity, right? Just because he is such a big threat, but now he's with you. Okay. You pick Elf One. <laughs> 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 so what do you think about that? Okay, let's go. You join a join in confederation. That's with... <laughs> absolutely right. And anybody who like tries to like you think your rod of God can stop Rock Lee? Absolutely not. Eight gate, you open seven, everybody dead. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So here's here's the good thing that I like to think about every once in a while. 
How easy would it be to masturbate in the Naruto universe? I mean, if you can do just one shadow clone, yep. and that shadow clone can use transformation, Boom. super easy. You can literally f*** yourself forever, and you could f*** whoever you wanted at the same time. It's, it's not even gay. When someone tells you to go f*** yourself, you can! Yeah, and it's not even gay. Dude, I mean, I, I would do that. I mean, yeah. You couldn't get me out of bed. I, I, like, if you really think about it, imagine how bad of a problem the ninja world really has with chess predators. Like, there's no way. Like, there must be master heroes in there. Like, some dude mm. turns into whoever they, like, okay, some dude can watch you, right? Right. They, I don't know, if you're married or not, they take you out, they turn into you, they pepper your wife, leave. She never knows. Dude. Yo, like, that's a mass. nobody ever mentions that. Think about that. Somebody could turn into you to be a pedophile, and nobody would know. You know, that was actually kind of the, like, second episode of Naruto, where Naruto transforms into Sasuke and tries to kiss Sakura. The only problem is... Oh, didn't he kiss the other dude, though? Well, yeah, he kissed Sasuke, but that was on accident. He was, like, squatting. He was slav squatting up on the table, <laughs> and, he, and he didn't have that perfect squatting yeah, he slav balance. Heels. Exactly. He had the, the Western American spy squat. Disgraceful. <laughs> so he, he, he accidentally got knocked over. And kissed. But so anyways, like, second episode, he's on, like, a bench dressed, you know, he's set, like, set up as Sasuke, so Sakura goes in for a kiss, and he goes in for it too. Only problem is, he has the bad milk shits. Oh, no, that's like the Haribo <laughs> sugarless gummies. <laughs> oh, my God, the, sh Hari the Haribo Satan sugar-free hellbears. Oh, the lives they have ruined. <laughs> <laughs> the, the pants that they have ruined. Oof, oof, oof. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, with next episode, me and, you know, Lil Bear are going to go for a little quest. We're going to actually try to unravel the mystery of the robbery of the pit, right. you know. And then we're going to tell you guys how it went, what actually happened. And now, since it is, it, it is the end of the show, we're going to do our regular fuck you shout out, right? Ooh. And if you want, I'm going to give you the honors to choose what you want to give that mwah, special shout out to. Personally. Fuck grave robbers, man. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, fuck grave robbers. Oh, damn bastards. I had, I was set up for life. There was something in Uncle Melvin's ass hey. for me, and I <laughs> wanted it. I never got it. You pieces of shit. Fuck you for digging up Tutankhamen, dog. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you got everything you deserve. Those damn archaeologists, so-called, <laughs> yeah. going in there and taking it. It's like, that belongs in a museum. No, that belongs in the pit where it has always been. Exactly. Like, oh, you think you're fancy? You call yourself archaeology? You're just a thief, dog. Egyptian Trump set up these walls, if you will, <laughs> to make sure that none of you Western bastards got in there first. Lord Cap was protecting that from the start and you defiled it melvin was an avatar of keck <laughs> melvin keck christ <laughs> two entities in one body <laughs> all right that's gonna be it for this episode see you later peace, peace.